Gwen Local 6 reporter Tim Becker begins our coverage of the Local 6 headlines. And Tim, you'd think the kids would be happy about getting a day or two off, but you found some students that were pretty stressed about it. Yeah, that is absolutely right. I mean, some young actors with a big production looming in a couple of months for them. Now, this is the main building here at Westland High School, and it remains closed to general access. But take a look over there now. This is the Performing Arts Center over uh, to the south end of the school here, actually the east end. And uh, it's an entirely separate structure. It got the safety okay this morning. And yeah, you would think kids would revel in a surprise day off. But hey, now we found some in there who just couldn't wait to get back on campus. You'll do your little monologue. Not all students stayed away. Be gone. Take it, heads. Jessica totally Murray's dead. drama group was center stage in the Performing Arts Center after the building was cleared this morning for use. Immediately at 8.30 this morning, I called my student stage manager and said, hey, we can still have rehearsal. And she said, great. We got our firemen. A day after real drama for students out on the street. Let's get your instrument. Some were allowed back to pick up important items, phones, keys, instruments they left behind in haste. All the strands of your hair were like little faucets of water. Others came back because they could. It feels like a Saturday that we get to come in and rehearse, which is cool. Well, my Kate, tomorrow we will undo your Day fathers. off or not, the show must go on, and these students were happy to be back on campus. It was... Scary and I think kind of emotional for kids. That's more what I got than, yay, we don't have school, was, oh, this is our school and what's going to happen? And um, I think they were glad to be able to come in and have some sense of routine and some, some sense of normal. You know, it is all about beating deadlines. Uh, it is also homecoming week here at West Lynn High School as well. And, you know, they were to have the final vote for royalty finalized by today. Well, now it's going to be a wait and see.